Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Brad and this is Trail Recon. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at four different tire inflator options and see how fast they can fill up a 35 inch tire from 15 PSI all the way up to 32 PSI. Now, I know if you looked at all four of these, you'd be like, oh, well that one's obviously faster and this one's probably the slow one. But I wanted to put a little kind of Trail Recon formula in there and figure out over the course of a year, how much time do you spend using each one of these tire compressors inflating your tires and is it actually worth spending that extra money for that high-end one. We're gonna check it out today, guys. I'm pretty excited. So we're gonna take the time it takes to inflate one tire and multiply that times four, four tires. And then on average, I'm out on the trail twice a month, so multiply it times two. And then over the course of a year times 12, how much time do I spend inflating my tire and figure out, you know what, is it worth the extra savings? It should be pretty interesting. Now we won't be taking a look at any of those budget department store tire inflators. You know, when I first started wheeling, I went and bought one of those $49 ones thinking that's all I needed. And you know what, they're okay in a pinch, but if you're off-roading all the time, it won't last you. In fact, mine didn't even last three months and I have a lot of buddies that have had similar situations. So I'm not gonna advocate picking one of those up, guys. If you are off-roaded or near serious, you need to spend the money and get a good quality tire inflator system them, like one of the ones you'll see here today. So let's get started. I'm pretty excited. I hope you find this interesting. The tire we're going to be using today is our Cooper Discoverer STT Pro and it's a 31570R17 which actually measured out to be about 34.5 inches tall. We tried to be as consistent as we could be so for three out of the four we used the ARB tire gauge. Now the Smitty Belt tire compressor came with its own built-in gauge so we had to rely on that one for those measurements. For the first test, we are using a well-used Smittybilt portable tire inflator, model number 2781. This inflator sells for around $159. The benefits of this compressor are its portability and ease of use. It comes in its own bag for storage and you don't have to worry about installing it and hardwiring it to your vehicle. It just attaches to your battery with some alligator clips and screws onto the valve stem and you flip a switch and you're ready to go. So two minutes and 30 seconds for a portable air compressor is pretty good. Now filling up four tires will take you 10 minutes and if you're wheeling twice a month over the course of a year, you're going to spend four hours inflating your tires. Up next is my personal ARB single piston compressor that I have been using for well over a year now. I have it hard mounted and hard wired under the hood and I love the compact design and the reliability I've received with this compressor so far. And one of the added benefits is you can run your air lockers off this unit as well. So two minutes and 10 seconds is pretty much what I would have guessed. And times four tires is eight minutes and 40 seconds to get it done in a trip. But I would have never have imagined that I'm spending 3.4 hours a year inflating my tires. That was very interesting. Up next is my buddy's ARB dual piston compressor, which just like the last one works great to inflate your tires and you can run your air lockers. But you can also run some air tools off this compressor. And if you attach a small storage tank, you really increase your output capacity. Boy, I'll say a minute and 14 seconds is pretty nice. And to get all four tires inflated in under five minutes, that's pretty impressive. And you're only spending 1.9 hours a year inflating your tires. Last up is a do-it-yourself built CO2 tire inflation system that my buddy has. Now you can buy purpose-built tire air bottle systems, but they'll run you four to 600 bucks. This do-it-yourself system costs just a little over $230. And my friend built this system using a 10 pound CO2 bottle from a beverage store and some regulators and attachments you can find online. I'll leave links in the description if you're interested. He says it costs him about $20 to recharge this CO2 bottle at his local liquor store and he can inflate all four 37 inch tires four times each, which is pretty good.
we knew this system was going to be fast, but wow, 33 seconds for one tire, and you can fill all four tires up in just a little over two minutes. That's pretty awesome, and at 0.8 hours per year, hands down, it beats all the other systems. So I don't know about you guys, but I found that very interesting. I was really curious to see just how much time it actually took with each one of those compressors, and now we know. But what I'd really like to know is, what compressor are you using? What tire size do you have? And how long does it take you to fill up? Guys, head out to your garage, go check it out, and put it in the comments and let everybody know. I think this would be a great opportunity to share that knowledge with folks who might be out there looking for a tire inflator system. You know, I love my single ARB compressor. To do it all over again, I probably would've got the dual just because it would have saved me you know, half as much time. My buddy who's got the CO2 one, man, that is a great option, as long as you don't mind filling it up from time to time. And I will actually leave all information down below about where you can pick up these tire compressors. I'll leave some information if you wanna build that CO2 compressor for yourself. I think it's a pretty cool option. Hey, if you're visiting the channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't been over to our website in a while, go over there and check it out at www.trailrecon.net. And until next time, we'll see you out on the trail.